And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, this uh, snowfall season really has been lackluster. We've had under a foot of snowfall. We should be seeing about over two feet of snow so far this season, 15 inches below the normal. We have to go back to the 2002-2003 winter season where to today there was only under eight inches of snowfall. But we are going to be adding that as we head into the next 12 hours. A beautiful start to the day. Taking a look at Lambeau Field. How about that? Hardly any sun or clouds out there. A beautiful sunny day. Similar like what we saw yesterday with a little bit of sunshine out there. Clouds, though, have increased since that sunshine this earlier afternoon and in the morning hours. Area of low pressure moving across the southern plains of Canada, and that is going to be tracking east and continuing to do so as we head into the overnight. You're seeing that snowfall belt in parts of Iowa, into Minnesota, even Illinois and Wisconsin, all moving eastward. So we're going to be getting a couple inches of snowfall out of this clipper. But with the track of the storm and the low warm front, Pretty much north of us we will be warming those temperatures up as we head into the overnight. There's the area of winter weather advisories all the way from South Dakota into Wisconsin and then down to the south. There's a winter storm watch. That's for a snowstorm that's expected to impact on Monday night into Tuesday. Right now it looks like we'll be missing out on that. Looks like more of the Chicagoland area will be picking up at least a half foot of snowfall out of that. As for us, though, let's focus on what we're dealing with for tonight. And there's that winter weather advisory. Radar is showing a little bit of some light snow off towards the west, but right now, according to some of the latest observations, this is not reaching the surface. But as we continue on in into the overnight, we're going to be seeing that snowfall moving in here. Here we are just before 10 o'clock and the leading edge from Wausau down towards Watoma and Princeton. As we get closer towards about 1 o'clock, that's when the snow really starts to move in across most of the Fox Valley, but lakeside area still not seeing much. We have to wait until about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. By 3 o'clock, everyone is seeing most of the snowfall. It will continue into the early morning hours. Here we are at 6 o'clock in the morning. The back end of the snowfall starting to move in from the western parts of central part of the, uh, Wisconsin, like Wausau, Stevens Point, starting to trickle off to flurries. By 9 o'clock, most of the snow is now all exiting our area. So I would think that probably by about 10 o'clock or so we could do starting to do that shoveling about two to four inches of snowfall, a little bit higher totals, especially as you get closer towards, let's say, Washera, Marquette, Green Lake counties could be close to about four inches of snow. And then also a kind of a wild card factor right here with a little bit of moisture rising up from the Lake Michigan area. There could be some locally higher totals near four or five inches of snowfall as well out of the store. Also, once this area of snowfall moves out of our uh, region, we're going to be seeing those winds right now that will be coming in out of the south and southwest starting to turn out of the northwest. It will be breezy tomorrow afternoon, and that's going to cause those wind chills to be down into the lower 20s and the upper teens. So while the temperature itself will be close to 30, it's going to be feeling about 10 degrees cooler than that. Right now, though, it's about 20 degrees across our area, a little cooler up towards the north. Pembine at 13, 14 Mountain, 11 in Anago. We've got 18 in Oshkosh. So overnight low temperature, it's going to be happening right around right now because then those temperatures will gradually warm up as we head into the morning hours tomorrow, getting up to 30 degrees. Then the winds will be changing out of the west and northwest and will be a little bit cooler for our Monday with mostly cloudy to cloudy skies with another snowstorm passing over the southern part of the state into northern Illinois. Temperatures remaining in the mid and upper 20s all the way until about next weekend and then it looks like a little bit of a thaw by Saturday. All right, thanks Gino. The pandemic